You've heard of decentralized finance, but you don't know where to get started, and gas fees have been outrageous. Don't worry, I got you. I'm gonna show you how to set up the Binance Smart Chain on your MetaMask wallet. MetaMask is a crypto wallet that sits on your browser, giving you access to the Ethereum network. And with the high gas fees on the Ethereum network, Binance Smart Chain has become a popular alternative, giving users a low fee experience to access decentralized apps, DeFi products, and NFTs, just to name a few. With the development of the Binance Smart Chain, you can use your MetaMask wallet to access the Binance Smart Chain with some basic configurations, which I'll cover in just a moment. So for those of you who are familiar with Uniswap, a popular automated market maker that allows you to exchange assets and yield farm on the Ethereum network, configuring your Binance Smart Chain will basically give you the same sort of functionality as you would experience on Uniswap, instead on other automated market makers that use the Binance Smart Chain those of which would be like PancakeSwap, BurgerSwap, and some others out there that use the Binance Smart Chain, and all at incredibly low fees compared to the Ethereum network. Without further delay, let's get your MetaMask wallet set up for the Binance Smart Chain. But if you don't already have your MetaMask wallet set up, go ahead and check out the full tutorial here. Otherwise, I'm briefly gonna give you those steps right now. Google MetaMask, go ahead and click on the MetaMask link, click download now, install MetaMask for Brave, and add to Brave, add extension, get started. I'm creating a wallet from scratch. Say no thanks. Choose a secure password, secret backup phrase. If you lose your backup phrase, no one can help you. You need to write these words down and keep them in a secure location and click confirm and all done. Now we have our address here. After you install your MetaMask wallet, it should look something like this. Click on your icon up here, go down to settings. From settings, go to networks and from networks, there will be a link in my description below that will have the RPC settings to connect your Binance Smart Chain to your MetaMask wallet. Well, I have them pulled up already here. Here's the main net that you're going to install onto your MetaMask wallet that will connect the Binance Smart Chain to your MetaMask wallet. So you're going to copy this information here. Network name, Smart Chain. And so I will click Add Network, Smart Chain, Copy everything the way you see it here. And I'm just going to add Binance in front of this part so I know which chain it is and click save. So after you click save, you should now have access to your Binance Smart Chain on your MetaMask wallet. You'll see this little drop down menu up here. You can switch back to Ethereum mainnet or you can select back down to your Binance Smart Chain. So next, you'll wanna send some BNB to your Binance Smart Chain. If you click on your MetaMask wallet, you'll see that your BNB address is actually the same as your Ethereum address. So if you look at both of them, they're both the same address. But what's very important is when you send BNB to your address, copy, paste it here, and when you go to withdraw your BNB, you want to make sure that you are withdrawing BEP20. So BEP20 is the version that goes on the Binance Smart Chain. And the reason you need BNB is because BNB is what's going to cover the low gas fees that you pay on your transactions, which are gonna be a lot cheaper than what you'd pay for Ethereum gas fees. So we'll do a quick example of how you could use your Binance Smart Chain in your MetaMask wallet. So we could go to a site like PancakeSwap, which uses a Binance Smart Chain, from here, you'll want to select your MetaMask wallet. It's, if it's for the first time, it's going to ask you to connect to the network. It'll ask you to connect to your Binance Smart Chain. And we'll say switch network because we do want to be on our Binance Smart Chain. We can select MetaMask to make sure that it is on the Binance Smart Chain and it is, so it says it right there. So from here, we can go over to trade. If let's say we wanted to exchange and buy some SafeMoon, for example, then we could go over here and exchange for select currency. We will type in SafeMoon. And so we would select SafeMoon, which only exists on the Binance Smart Chain. And then we could select how much BNB we would like to use. We'll say max, and we have a balance of 0.6. So if we said max BNB, then we'd estimate this much SafeMoon and we'd hit swap, which would allow us to swap our BNB on our Binance Smart Chain for the safe moon onto our Binance Smart Chain within our MetaMask wallet. You can also do other things too, like go to farms and then add liquidity and do some farming on these different automated market makers to earn yields. And you can also get into NFTs and add those onto your Binance Smart Chain as well. So there's a lot of utility and all the fees are very low. So that's how you set up your Binance Smart Chain onto your MetaMask wallet. 
If you guys have burning questions of videos you would like me to make, please drop them in the comments below. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel so I can keep making you helpful videos like this one. Thanks so much for tuning in to Alan Ryan and I'll see you next time.